Let's look now at, a, um, at an, another kind of any sequence where the sequence is not in instance order and the sequence is not defined in another place in the instance, it's defined right inside every item. So here I have, um, as you can see in the schema that's on your screen, I have a section and the section has an ID in it, it has its own ID, and then it has an ID ref. That's a ref to the next section. So this is what you might call in computer science a linked list. Every item in the list has a link to the next item. And from that linkage, you can, you can construct the entire sequence. And what's more important to us in this case, since I've already talked about constructing the sequence as a whole, is to be able to represent the next and previousness of, of this instance, so we're, uh, of, this, of this sequence. And so now we're gonna focus a little bit more on transform land and a little bit more on this concept of dereferencing that we talked about as well in the, um, in the associations topics and talk about how do I go from this very simple representation of just um, next section, next section, next section to a representation of, um, of the next and previous topics. So what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to have um, a link somewhere in our topic that takes us to the next and previous. And I've, I've designed a little, a little um, uh, sketched in uh, title bar here and the title bar has the title of the section. On the right-hand side, it has a link to the next section. On the left-hand side, it has a link to the previous section. And of course, if there is no next section, if we're on the last one, we want to be able to say, gray out that next section. And if it's on the previous one, we want to be able to gray out the previous link. So that's the sequence. It applies to a section element. It's a sequence of sections, and it allows you to put the next and previous links on each of those pages. The issue arises as to how we're going to uh, how we're going to render this, right? We have a pretty clear idea. I hope you have a pretty clear idea of the instance here. I'm not showing you the instance because I want to encourage you now to just look at schemas and not have to look at instances in order to make this happen. Um, and you can see on your screen that we have a little bit of transform there, and the transform is going to um, uh, is going to help us render first the next link. And so let's talk about rendering the next link. And again, we're, we're going to be quickly diving into the idea of dereferencing. And here we're dereferencing forward where in that section, we have the link to the next section. Okay, but we have one extra constraint here in addition to forming the link to the next section, which I hope you can already guess how we're going to do, right? We're going to dereference that ID. We're gonna find the section that has the ID that's in next section ref ID. And we're gonna use, um, use that to get whatever information we need from that, that next section. Okay, so what we wanna do is, um, uh, is first see is there a next section? So if you look in your transform, you'll see the line that says if there is an at next section ref ID, now I want to do the rest of the code. And if there isn't, nothing happens. There'll be nothing that goes on in there. Now this is a pretty simple, um, this is a pretty simple rendering. I could do, I could have used a, use an, I could have used a choose, and the choose would have said um, XSL choose, um, and then the first test would be when at next section ref, ref ID, and then there would be an otherwise, and the otherwise might say, you know, no next section or something like that, if I wanted to have a more sophisticated rendering. But I want to keep it down to the basics here so that you get the, the main points. And the main point here is we're now wrapping our dereferencing and creating of a link of the referenced ID. We're wrapping that in an if statement so that if there isn't one, um, it won't execute and it'll show the user that they're at the last topic. Okay, that's a forward reference and that's a forward reference to the, um, uh, to the next section. Now, I'm hoping also that you're anticipating what I'm gonna say about the previous link. The previous link is not explicitly represented in my current item, is it? And so I'm gonna have to do what I've called before a backwards dereference, where I'm finding the section that points to me, right? And so now I have the same situation. Maybe there is no section that points to me, and if there's no section that points to me, then I'm going to say, don't do anything. In this case, uh, that's what I say, right? Yeah, I say, if there's no link that points, if there's no other section that points to me, don't do anything. And again, I could have chosen a more sophisticated technique where, where I, um, uh, I say, if there's no section that points to me, um, then put in something that says no previous section or you know, do some other fancy operation. In this case, I'm simply going to suppress the display of a previous link if there is no section that points to me. So again, that's pre what does it mean to be a previous section? It means that you're, you are a section that has a next section ref ID that points to the current section. 
Okay, the forward link is a lot easier because we're in the section. We test whether it has a next section ref ID. If it does, we know there is a next section. If it doesn't, we stop because we're at the last section. In this case, we say, is, is there an item that points to me? If there is, then go for it, create the link. If there isn't, then don't go for it. Okay, so let's dive quickly into that logic, and I'm hoping that, that there's not a whole lot new in this logic because we've seen it once before. Um, and so here, we'll, here we, we see the, the logic that says, um, if there is a whack whack at section next ref ID, that's my ID, right? And we previously defined that variable my ID to be the ID of the current section. So if there's a section in, in English that points to me, how do I know it points to me? Because it's next section ref ID is my ID, the ID of the current section. So it's, my, it's uh, my ID of the current section, and if that's true, then I put in a link. And that link goes back to the ref ID. And now um, I'm using that also, that simple technique of um, saying that the item, the sections are in static web pages that are section ID.htm. Right? That's really not the way we do it in real life, and I'm about ready to abandon that and give you some more examples that, um, uh, that show more sophisticated ways to do that. But I'm not focused on that right now. I'm focused on the, the formatting of the next and previous links, and I want to give you this, also um, give you this idea of dereferencing in another context. So we form a very simple link, and that link says previous section colon, right? That's static text. And then I grab the section title, and that section title is the section who points to me's title. Okay, so that long X path there is really translated quite simply. There's some section that points to me. I've already, I've already determined there is one. And now I go one level down and I find its title. And of course, I wrap that title in a link tag. And the href to that link tag is section ID of the section that points to me, .htm.